music that I book, alternative music. Mostly because it's only played on college radio stations. The City Garden was the, the place to see the big bands. Nirvana, Fishbowl, Circle Jerks were always great. The Sonic Youth. This place is bigger than rock and roll, you know. Do you feel that promoting is a good business to get into? Not at all, nope. I don't know, not one bit. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why I did it. We walk into this club that's fucking packed. There's a thousand kids in there, and we're like, this place is amazing. City Gardens was the people, the bands, and it was Randy now. He sort of gave me a sense that what we were doing was actually worthwhile. He was booking at this fairly large club, but he was bringing in bands that were. Definitely not mainstream. We were playing there all the fucking time. Randy was doing it because he loved it. Be here at Soundcheck at this time, we play at this, I cut you off at that. If we went too long, he'd cut the sound. He would just stop the music. It sort of looked like a bingo hall, sort of, actually. The club had the nickname of Shitty Gardens. Man, this place is <laughs> There wasn't that many places to play. A lot of bands owe their fame Two city gardens in a way. You can wear a CBGB's t-shirt and you know what that means. Anybody can wear one, you know immediately what that means. There is no city gardens t-shirt. We loved music and I think it showed. 